Hi guys and welcome. If you need to build your own landing page for any of your business purposes or personal purposes, definitely it's better to use the landing page builders or website building platforms because it's much more easier, faster and without an extra knowledge and efforts like you need you don't need to learn coding or you don't need to learn the web design and so on because everything is pretty ready to go and you just need to customize some things and it's gonna be great so i want to show you all the main editing features of um, this platform i want to show you how you can by yourself fast and easy build landing page because it's all drag and drop it's all pretty convenient and uh, i will show it to you in this video i want to make this video as short as possible because i saw all those tutorials like one hour long i don't want to waste your time i want to show you the main editing features and in the end of this video you'll get an idea of how to make it by yourself and this is the main purpose of this video i want to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get that link to jump to this platform straight from this video so be our guest use that link and you'll see some kind of that picture on the main page then you need to press start a free trial and platform will ask you to choose the plan that you will use to build up your site as $27 per month 59 or 239 depends on type of uh, site that you need the options uh, and so on so it, it's up to you I'm not gonna waste your time I'm just jumping straight to dashboard of this platform that how it looks so landing pages sites conversion tools like pop-ups alert bars opt-in tags trigger links a lot of things for uh, make your business bigger and stronger leads brand images lead magnets integrations domains and support we're talking about landing pages in this video and i'm gonna press create new landing page you have uh the sort type by conversion rate most popular or newest page type industry style or, or color uh there's a lot of actually industries and you can find your own or maybe if you're not in this industry that provided uh, on that list you can just grab the any template that you like and customize it for yourself i choose this one the editing features are pretty the same for the landing pages and for the website so i'm gonna show you how things are working here and you're gonna get an idea of how to build it by yourself as you can see this is a simple coming soon um page it's pretty landing page of course uh, but it's uh, it's not so big it's not so huge i just want to show you all the editing features so layout sections widgets styles and settings we're going to talk about all of them uh, and let's start from the beginning layout sections you can see which sections do you have here and actually any landing page or any website uh, built with the sections uh, so hero and footer if you're not enough of this um this sections you can add a section more and you see there's list of options logos testimonials and blank that's what i like and that's what i want to show you you just drag and drop it and that's it okay we're gonna delete this section we don't need about section in this case i'm gonna delete it just to show you how things are happening we go to widgets here and for example we need to show video here and we need the button here that's pretty it if you need uh, the button to be in the center you grab a spacer place it drop it here and you see you can shape it in the way that you want and you have the divider as you saw we uh, we dropped here the two sections two uh, columns template of a section and we can just grab this one and drag it as we want move button 
and that's pretty it as you can see there's a background here and this background is not the background of the section because I'm going to show you why. Uh, when you press on the three dots button, you have edit section settings, add section buffer below, duplicate, copy or delete as usual, actually edit section settings and background. There is no color of background here. That means uh, that in most cases, this color is the background of entire page. And I will show it to you in seconds. But in this case, as we hear already, I want to show you that you can reshape the blocks. You can reshape the size of, uh, of this section itself, or you can make it automatically. Alrighty. You see that the footer is not on the spot and actually we cannot move it from here. We go into layout, we go into this uh, sections to layout and we grab a footer here and move, move this footer to the spot where it should be. That's pretty it. That's pretty it. Everything drag and drop. I told you already. So I showed you widgets, we go into styles. As I thought page background is here. If we're going to remove this color, we see that uh, the footer and the blank template of the section became white. We can apply any color that we want for this. Yeah, that's cool. Let it be like that. And we're going to change it soon. So when you hovering over every, every single part of this website, you see that you have this box with a pencil button on each. And this pencil button actually is all you need. When you press on it, you can manage the element itself. Like here you can change the type of, uh, of the text font, size of this font, spacing, can make it italic or bold, italic or bold. Yeah, all the things you can make here. That's clear. When you go into layout and you're pressing the hero and you see that there's a header and there's a body. We don't need a header here. We can delete it straight. All the element separately from the other element. OK, all right. That's also understandable. Let's change the section style. I want to change this image. For example, um, we have the barber and probably barber shop is coming soon and uh, we're going to change image. We can use the images that we uploaded previously in my images. We can buy images from this spot. It's eight dollars per picture and actually it's pretty enough to uh, to find correct and high quality pictures uh, without any restrictions to use or we can upload the picture from computer and that's what I'm going to do right now. now. I love this picture. This is great and it's going to be the barber shop and it's pretty clear that it's barber stuff and so on. I want to show you one more thing that will help you a lot. Look at that. You see the changes? If uh, like here we have the white text and we have pretty white picture, we can switch on the image color overlay. Let's add new color. Let it be this one. And we change in the opacity. And you see that the picture is still there and the text is pretty readable right now and everything is pretty cool. So. One of the most important things in this video is buttons, because the buttons is the way how you interact with your visitors and main purpose of any landing page is to get contact information from your visitor and bring that information to your email list. How that happens? You need to edit click event. What's going to happen? You have an options, no link option and your button will be unactive pop up 
Calendly pop-up, jump to page section, like in the case if you have about section and it's somewhere down there and read more button will uh, will jump to page section straightly link to landing page but in most cases this is the pop-up so let's edit the pop-up want to stay in the loop subscribe and will tell you blah 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 so the text i will not change the text i showed you how to do that and it depends on the type of your business and what words do you want to say it's up to you so the main thing is added integrations integrations fields and actions so let's start from integrations uh, you can get notifications straight to your email or you can add an integration with external services email marketing services like convertkit mailchimp get response active campaign and so on or you can use Zapier to connect everything uh, with Google Sheets, for example, uh, or to connect it with a Zoom or, or so on. So it depends. Uh, it's pretty, pretty cool to uh, get new leads to CRM straightly and all those MailChimp ConvertKit has the CRM. And that's why it's pretty convenient. But if you don't have an account on them, and you don't want to create it maybe you're just starting your business never mind it's cool to get notifications straight to your email fields we have only email here we're gonna add a field and it's gonna be the first name and the first name is the second i want it to be the first i'm pressing this arrow button and that's it you can add more fields but actually clients don't like to fulfill a lot of information and you see the lead matter uh, this is the tool that shows how you how your page will convert it become a little bit less so we don't need actually the phone number we will not call to our customer we just need his email and we just delete it and as you can see lead matter will be full yeah that's pretty cool actions what's gonna happen when uh, somebody will fulfill this form and press the button actually what's gonna happen next so it's gonna be the default lead pages thank you page landing page external URL remain on page or you can add a lead magnet uh, for example you promised uh, like a discount coupon for uh, first visit to barbershop maybe and just download it give us your name and uh, grab a discount maybe maybe uh, and you can physically add that file to to this spot that's pretty it and uh, i want to remove this i want to remove this section okay and we go into settings a couple words about that seo definitely one of the most important parts of your website because your site need to be visible to search engine machines and you need to fulfill all those SEO page description, SEO page keywords, and so on. Social, if you want to share a link to your landing page to some uh, spot in the internet like Facebook or Pinterest or some other social media, that's how it's going to look like and you need to take care about that. Analytics, Google tracking ID, uh, Google Analytics tracking ID, and Facebook pixel, you can apply here. Language, it's pretty clear and understandable guys under 15 minutes it it took us under 15 minutes to build simple site uh let's switch it to line and look at that look at that i think it's beautiful do you think so it takes up to 20 minutes to handle the site to build simple landing page i'm not saying that it will take 20 minutes to build the big landing page yeah with a lot of content but it's really really fast and easy and uh, probably you already know that while you're watching this video so i think this was useful hope so and i wish you to launch fast don't waste time use the link in the description file this video click on that link pass the registration on this platform and build your first landing page and you'll be much more happier when you finish than when you start thank you so much have a great day and see you in the next video bye bye